Hey guys. What do you think? Huh? And they'll fit in there. Takes a three quarter inch hole. And they'll fit in there. I already what was that a nine eight seven sixteenths? Was it nine sixteenths outside diameter of this is three quarter inch? And it'll fit right in there to the hole. So now I gotta find a three quarter inch Forstner bit and uh, see where we go from there. So, by the way, that's the time and that's the temp in the garage. But uh, yeah, let's see. I wonder how bright these are. Let's see, do we got. Uh, there's the battery. I'll have to get some alligator clips. Hang on, be back in a minute. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. This is going to look weird, though. It is. So hang on there. Okay, so if I keep it... Hang on, come on. Come on, there you go. Come on. Come on. There it is. Come on. There. So I guess I'm going to have to make sure I get them in that way because it's a little slit huh? well time to find a three quarter inch socket more in a minute later okay we got the lights started with eighth inch went to quarter went to three eighths went to five eighths then went to three quarter yeah made a mess this stuff is Ooh. Yeah, and definitely that holes come through so these things though hold on Let's see if I can come on all right something's going on all right more in a minute what do you think I think it's pretty good. I like it. Hold it. Yeah. Now I'll figure out what Jimmy C said on sitting there spinning at 180 degrees. Yeah. So. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. All right, guys. More in a minute. All right. Well, I'm glad this is now working. And uh, David yesterday and I were talking about giving it a name, and we first thought about uh, naming it after Captain Jerk, or his real name, first name is Justin, and call it Justin, and then, nah, that didn't sound right. And then how about, you know, Mini Jerk, you know, like Mini Me, Mini Jerk, you know. And so, I don't know, and so or you could do mini captain, or mini cap, whatever. But yeah, the giving thought, what Jimmy C said about have it, when the minute you hit the brake light, the head will start rotating it back and forth, you know, back. But where the head's gonna, where the, where the head's gonna end up on your brake lights, you gotta think that it's, once you stop power, and power would be by taking your foot off the brake, that the head's going to stay in that position as it's been rotating the 180 degrees. Follow? So as it rotates, and the lights are lit, and the brake, you know, and, and then all of a sudden you go, and now it'll stop, and it'll that way. And that's using, I think, the oscillating <clears throat> part of a, of a fan. The other thing I was thinking about is maybe a radio control servo. Those things work and they have limit stops on them and stuff and everything. And I think they even have ones that once power is shut off, it'll center back up. So that's what I'm going to do some investigating into on, on that because I'd like for it to, when it, when it stops oscillating back and forth, 
that the minute we go that it, it, it takes enough power just to center it back up and go. And this is going to be pretty heavy so the, the, the tray or the mechanism I'm going to, it's got to turn really free. It's got to be really free. It can't bind or do anything. So those are my thoughts so far. Uh, I should have set up the time lapse, but this these just arrived today. And I said, why not? Let's go. And so I went ahead and did. And I think it's I think it looks pretty good. So let me know let me know what you think, guys. So I want to thank everybody for watching, subscribing, and of course leaving comments. And uh We'll catch you guys on the next one later.